Uh, so welcome back guys this is nick from 3d animation guru and uh today's i'm here because i want to to continue with my tutorial last time i showed you how to like uh, download and install unreal engine i also showed you how to launch an uh, unreal engine i also showed you uh, i showed you also how to install the plugin and how to create a project so if you remember if you have checked on my previous video which i already downloaded and they are on my youtube channel you can remember that we did made this uh unreal agent uh, we just call this the, the project that we are using was called the unreal agent 4 2 to 1. so this is the project that we uh um we uh created that time so what i'm going to do that today on this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can just start loading the material that you're going to use on your project. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to open this one here. And this will not take long. And then I can show you the things that we did. So this one I told you from my last video, this is the memory or uh, the memory that is going to be used because the Unreal Engine require a good memory card and also the graphic card and everything. So this will just say yes to open it. And now we are just going to wait for it to open. It's not going to take time. And I told you the first time when you're opening uh, Unreal Engine, you experience some problem here that your Unreal Engine will require to, um, it will take some time. Sometimes it will just load up to that 9% and then it will just require a lot of time to uh, open. So now we have this one. This is the plugin that I also explained in the last video where we have all those built-in plugins. And then we just install this plugin, the Carter Creator and Icron Auto Setup. This one will be, I told you we are going to use it. It's a very important plugin. We also have Fudini and we have the icon. I showed you how you just have to activate them, enable them, and then you just restart your program. This one I did a video already, so I'm not going to repeat it on this video. So now this is what we had for the our first project and also i tried to explain all those widow on my last video and now here we have this one those are the plugin that we install we have the replica which we are going to use we have the character creator uh setup and we have the icon live ring so all those plugins we are going to use they appear here so before i continue i can also show you another plugin so if you just go to setting you can see go to setting and you see your plugins here just click this one and there's also another plugin called the data smith so i can just click the building and then i just click data smith and i'll just up, update all those one here uh that was this one here because this one i'll have to use so like this one you can so you see it's just asking you data me data smith uh, fpx importer so this one we are also going to use we have we are going also to exp uh, to enable all of them i do import of them and that one too and to show you how you want to those to uh, those plugin to appear like if you see here we don't have the data smith plugin so when i restart if i come here when i click enabled where all those things uh box they are ticked i can just now restart my uh unlay agent and what is going to happen um what is going to happen is that this one the data smith plugin is just going to be uh, activated on a little agent we are going also to use uh, the data smith so those things i don't want to combine them all of them at this time i want to use every plugin at its own time so i can show you what you do where you need it and how to use it so now let's see if you just scroll this one now you can see now we have the data smith import a little agent data data smith file so this one is a very big one so um for this video um i'll just first of all leave it here because i want to start an, a new video where i'll show you how you can now start importing the files so i'm not going to do anything like now I'm just going to leave this project there and the next video we are going now to start importing file so i'll call this the data smith importer so thank you for watching this video and let me see you on my next video bye for now